Hello, my mystic tribe. Welcome to your reading for... Oh, we okay. We have... We're going to keep him. For your reading for June 16th, 2021. It's always a general read. Could be love life, general life, work, career, business, finances, family, friendship, however it resonates. And timing is fluid, so this is around the 16th. It may or may not resonate on the 16th, so also keep that in mind. And roles can be vice versa. So we are going to see what messages Spirit has for us. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, share, and comment. And hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. If you're new to my channel, I welcome you aboard. Welcome to the Mystic Tribe. Enjoy your stay. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the messages. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and guys, what are the blessed messages for my Mystic Tribe on or around June 16th, 2021? Okay, we do. The first card I do want to bring out is. The King of Pentacles. This is somebody who is a, this could be a boss, this could be a manager. This is also somebody who is typically very loyal, who is a family man, very practical, good with his finances. Could be an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But he's very, he's looking very stern to me. I'm being drawn to his face. He has a very stern look on his face. So I feel like this is somebody who is in charge. Okay. Justice, Libra energy. <clears throat> so what I get, he looks very, very intense. So you, you might be in the energy of being very intense, trying to make some kind of choice or decision. He is like this person who is male or female. Um, this does possess masculine energy, but it doesn't have to be a man. Okay. But I'm saying he because it's a masculine energy. But he is very, very focused on making some kind of decision. He wants to make sure he makes the right decision. He's weighing things out. Okay. He's, and he's, he wants to be fair. Okay, so for some of you, this could be a, for somebody, this is a court case. I, I, I'm seeing that right off the bat, quite honestly, that there is somebody, maybe a judge, who is trying to be fair about who gets what money or monetary payouts. Okay. For others of you, he is trying to balance. Somebody may be trying very concentrated on balancing their budget, or making a choice between who gets a promotion, or a choice between jobs. Whatever it is, somebody's very focused, very serious, very intense about a decision that they have to make. I'm just trying to give all the possible scenarios. Okay, we do have pre-emperor's energy, nine of pentacles. So I do feel this is about money. Somebody is making decisions for their future security. So this person, whoever we're dealing, whoever this is, male or female, it's like this is about a sense of independence, stability. And I, I do feel that this, you're, you're, Focus is going to be on your finances. For some of you, maybe you're looking at paying something off to try to have some a little bit of financial freedom. Others are there. And in love and romance, somebody's trying to make a decision if they want to become committed, loyal, and settled down, or if they want to remain single. Take that however it resonates. But they're weighing the pros and cons, trying to decide, you know, I really want to be in a relationship. I really like the companionship. 
I want somebody that I could do things with. But at the same time, I don't want to get tied down. I don't want to lose my freedom or, or having to answer to anybody. She's talking to that bird. It's like the bird trying answering to her. Okay. Um, and it's like, I don't want to have to answer to anybody. So there's a big choice here. Queen of Wands. This is somebody who's very attractive, who's very beautiful. This We have a king and queen here. This is fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is somebody who is ambitious, a go-getter. So somebody is very focused. Somebody is, you know, this person, we have a man here who is very tempted by the beauty and the fiery energy, the enthusiasm, the passion. We have a woman here that is very passionate and a man who's very down to earth, a man who wants commitment and he's trying to make a decision if he dares enter a commitment with this, with this woman or if he's going to remain single. Because I think there is a fear here that she is so beautiful, can I keep her? You know, or is she going to find somebody else? Let me zoom in on the cards here. It's like this fear of her finding somebody else. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, um, she's very sociable. She has a lot of friends. She's very bold. More Leo energy with the strength card. So I think this man is dealing with a woman who has a very strong personality is what I'm getting. And I think that's kind of scaring him. That's why he's like trying to make a right pro decision for himself. He, but there is a sense of fear. I get this energy of fear. He may even be trying to hold back his energy, not to try to be appear to be too enthusiastic, even though he's bubbling inside. I feel like he's showing some willpower and not jumping. <clears throat> his in, his drive, per se, is saying, do it. Go for it. You know, you want her. But his logical side, his practical side, is saying, just don't jump quite yet. Weigh things out first, okay? You're in a good place right now. You're in a good place financially and in your life. You're very stable. You're very independent. And... You're dealing with somebody who's very ambitious. Is she going to go blow all my money? I'm hearing. Ten of Cups. This is happy, blissful energy. Emotional satisfaction. It's like this woman completes this man and vice versa. They complete each other. The earth feeds the fire, but the earth has to be careful not to get too consumed by the fire as well. That's why there is this energy of needing to have a little bit of restraint, a little bit of pulling back a and some willpower. But I do feel that there is this opportunity for a happy life with this, these two. They can be, they can make it work. They can be happy. <clears throat> there is a lot of strong passion here. There, a, and a sense of completion. Five of Pentacles is under the deck. So, I feel what this feels like is. 
You know how I said he is a little bit of afraid of this energy? Afraid of losing his independence? There it is. Afraid of losing his money? It's kind of funny that I... I and I'm not seeing this as being left out in the cold, per se. But maybe it, it could be. Because I also mentioned that she's very beautiful. And there could be other people chasing her. And he's afraid... He's wondering if he, could, if he gets involved with her. If he can hold on to her and keep her. Right? There is there's definitely a, a fear, afraid of being left out in the cold, afraid of losing money, afraid of losing the stability and everything that they have, he has established for himself. Because he's worked, we got more pentacles here. He's worked so hard to get to where he's at. So there's a lot that this king is considering. Now, you know, I gave a couple different scenarios here. I, you know, you have to decide who you who you are in this. What character are you? The Queen of Wands, wondering about this King of Pentacles. Is he going to commit to me? If that's the case, now you understand where he is coming from. If you are the King of Pentacles, you understand her a little bit. She does have a very strong personality, but. There is, but if you, there's a need of like a little bit of restraint, not rushing, okay? But there is a happy ending here. That this could be an unfounded fear. Or a fear based on past experiences. Okay, could be a fear based on past experiences. So, let's see what other messages we have. Joy. You delight in the love of life and bring the spirit of fun to all that you do. This is embracing joy. Somebody is, you know, it's like joyful, happy, bliss. That says this is that Ten of Cups energy. There's another card that's kind of sticking its neck out here. Detachment. You are releasing old patterns and ideas that no longer serve you. Serve your highest ideals of love. So I feel that what this is, is an embracing joy, detaching from the past, detaching from whatever happened in the past that influences your idea of love, that makes this man detaching, making you fearful of a commitment, okay? Detaching from old ideas. Embracing the joy, embracing the happiness. This, this has the potential of being a really beautiful connection here. Stand still. Somebody's trying to work their way through the muck, basically. And I feel this is the muck and the muddle, the muddiness in the mind. Somebody feels stuck that it has felt stuck, but is in the process of detaching. So I think somebody was stuck in the past that had influenced their decisions has influenced their opinion of love they were they were uh, they're detaching and becoming enlightened enlightenment 
becoming awake, becoming aware. This is like judgment type energy here. It is that moment where somebody realizes that they are in love. Somebody realizes that they need to detach from their fears, detach from their old ideas and take that chance, take that risk because the masculine is seeing the feminine as a risk. But I think somebody is having some confidence to embrace that risk and take that risk. Okay. Well, this is the message I have for you. Again, please hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, share, and comment. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next reading. Bye.